here on Digital Futures, we've given a fair bit of airtime thus far to the incredibly popular topic of women in tech. Now, we thought this time we might give that a bit of a spin and flip it on its head by doing a men in technology and digital episode. Why not, right? I've invited two highly accomplished and dynamic men in the industry to banter with me about a host of things, focusing also on the gender disparity that we're still seeing in this sector, but from their point of view. And also, I'll ask them about the stumbling blocks that they themselves have experienced firsthand. You know what, let's just kick this off straight away and meet our two influencers. David Demin, founder and CEO of Velap, an all-round digital pro, might I add, and Rishi Choudhury, the enterprise and co-founder of Incubus Ventures. Guys, thanks for taking the plunge and doing this. Thank you very no much worries. for being here. And, and putting up with my sore throat, by the way, of which I have a very bad one at the moment. <laughs> so I'm going to do my best. Too much singing. <laughs> too much singing, exactly. Now look, I want to start with something really contentious, because that's what we like to do on Digital Futures. Why is the digital and technology sector still rather male-dominated? And are you seeing that gender balance shift fast enough? Rishi, let's kick off with you. Yeah, I mean, um, there's definitely an issue there, but I think it's massively improved in the last few years. Um, I know when I first got into the startup scene, which was like 2009, 2010. Getting away your age, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> feel like a veteran, man. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, I remember getting to meetups where it was just men only. It was like maybe one woman, max. <laughs> and it was crazy. And uh, now you go to them and uh, there's plenty of women there. It, it's, you know, sometimes there's 50 50s. David, would you concur with that? I totally agree. I mean, I haven't been in the tech scene that long, but it's, uh, you definitely see uh, there's, uh, there's a shift that's happening. And I do agree, you know, back in the day there was definitely a big, big inequality. Um, but I think there's a, everyone's really helping out to kind of really improve, the, improve everything. Here. So that's a bit of a positive note, which is quite helpful. Now, I actually meet a lot of influential men in digital and men in tech that are doing a lot to rally young women to get into the sector. Um, despite the fact that sometimes men get a bit of a bad rap for not doing enough, right? So what could you guys be doing more of, however, to actually encourage more women to get into STEM careers? Um, I think there's, um, I mean, a lot can be done with uh, education. I think at the beginning, you know, um, the, at a young age, people in tech are considered geeky. And people, that, I think there's a lot of, uh, you know, stereotyping going on there. People don't want to be considered geeky. Um, so I think geeks cool now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> a lot of people these days are actually trying to make geeks cool again. So I think, you know, I think uh, in the education, we need to, you know, allow for people to, you know, enjoy it more and, yeah. and get teachers to actually encourage girls. And maybe even the parents should kind yes. of encourage them to get into technology because, you know, it's, it's the future. <laughs> so a good role for educators and parents yeah. here in saying, actually, this isn't just a geek thing. I think it's almost kind of as well, you want men to be supporting uh, this whole women in tech movement as well, because it's, um, otherwise it becomes very much men be women, women be men, yeah. a little bit like that, right? So um, I think everyone backing it is, is certainly really useful. Which is a great segue to my next question, that actually, I think it's rather unfair that in the media, we rarely actually hear men in the industry get asked what challenges or biases they've been on the receiving end of. And I understand that given it's a male dominated industry, typically you'd more likely ask a woman that because she's more likely to have faced it. But David, this is one for you. What might be some of the stereotypes or prejudices you possibly come up against when building your venture? Well, I think the issue I initially had was, I think my age, because I'm quite young, um, and I think uh, there was a barrier in my head where I thought I was too young to get into this and no one would listen to me and I realised that was uh, after I spoke to a few people and voiced my concern and um, people I was potentially going into business with who were older yeah. and I said look I'm, I feel like I'm really young I feel like I should lie about my age and they're like look no it's a really good thing that you're doing this you know they, they actually respected the fact that I was young and actually pushing myself so I think the barrier was in my head. And this might be a bit gender agnostic and it's a bit philosophical that we're getting here, but that's interesting, isn't it? It's always yeah, interesting. Now, yeah. Yeah, we're getting really <laughs> deep on digital futures. Um, is that irrespective of if you're male or female and trying to get into the tech industry, sometimes we count ourselves out. So there might not actually be a prejudice or bias coming our way, but perhaps, like you said, it's in your head that you think, oh, and then, you know, am I too young? Or am I a woman with that hold me back? You know, am I not the right uh, background? Things like that. So, Rishi, given your background with Incubus, I want to talk to you about venture capital. And this is sure. quite a controversial area because a piece of research recently rolled out called Startup DNA, specific to the UK, and from Accelerator Wira, showed 
quite a lot of investment bias in the UK. And they said digital startups founded by men are 86% more likely to receive first level venture capital investment compared to ones led by women. I mean, that's a pretty staggering statistic. So what needs to change? Do we need more female venture capitalists? Are women not putting themselves forward enough? What's going wrong here? You know, when we reach out to VCs and to angel networks and stuff, the majority on there are, are men. Um, and so it, it can be a little bit difficult sometimes. So more female partners might help? It might help. I, I mean, it'd be nice to see more females getting into that space. Um, I think certainly when you look at um, I mean, I'm not speaking for all incubators and stuff here, but from startups that we've had on, uh, like our last cohort was um, five of the startups were uh, female-led um, and three were uh, male-led. So um, when all the investors come in are, are male, um, sometimes there's a little bit of, a, you know, maybe they don't understand the apps the same, which are more, um, you know, in the, in the fashion industry. Now guys, I think we've alluded to this earlier, but getting involved in the tech world shouldn't be limited to being the technologist or the startup founder, which can feel daunting to a lot of people, male or female. So what are some of the other avenues that people could consider, again, gender agnostic, to actually get into the industry? You, you certainly don't have to be a founder at all. Um, I used to work at a tech company, Huddle, um, in the marketing team there. Um, I didn't really have a massive technical background, but I picked it up by being in a tech company. So, I mean, I think there's so many different roles uh, you can go into, let's say publishing, um, analyst, um, there's so many, I mean, filming, you know, there's so many different ways you can get into it. So I think, you know, that's such a broad way to get into it. And indeed, you could be covering the subject of technology, but not necessarily be the startup founder or technologist. Yeah. Quite like what I do with Digital <laughs> Futures a little bit, isn't it? Rishi, David, thank you for that. That was a very riveting chat. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it's it as getting well. getting in my hot seat today. <laughs> Men in tech. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> So I found that incredibly insightful and sparky. I hope you did too. This has been Digital Futures. Thanks for tuning in.